Hello, today we're going to talk about creating a dynamic lookup uh, value and lookup column where our, our lookups are actually a dynamic running count. So in this example, we have a daily report here in yellow that we drop into this template and anything that has a quantity on hand that is less than 2,500 units, that's something we need to reorder. We need to restock our inventory because it's gotten too low and we want to order a thousand more units. Um, so what we want to do is have a formula in this column. This is going to be our lookup column uh, where we want to do a running count for anything that's less than 2,500 units. So it goes from starting at one all the way to however many uh, of these items are less than 2,500 units. And then it spits out a dynamic lookup value over here that does a lookup and just restocks, you know, finds all the items in this drop zone over here and creates a reorder form uh, for anything that fits that criteria, however many there might be like that. So just to show you real quick again how this works, you know, I have a daily report that I drop into this drop zone here in yellow and it just spits out an order form based on anything less than 2,500 units in inventory. So we'll start from the very beginning. I have a blank template uh, where we'll build these formulas. So what I'm going to start with is just recopying our data in here first and now we're going to build the formulas around it. So the first thing we need to do is create our dynamic count lookup column. So we're going to insert the if function and it is a logical test a value of true, value of false. Well, our logical test is if the value in quantity is less than 2,500, we want to do something. What do we want to do? We want to do a running count. So we're going to insert a count if. And there's two inputs for your count if. You have your range and then your uh, the range you want to count and then the criteria uh, for that count. So our range is always going to begin at the topmost list, topmost uh, row containing data in our set, our range, um, which is actually this first cell here. And since it's the top of our range, we want that to be locked. Um, because we always want it to point to this first cell if we're doing a running count. So, oops. I lock down this top cell by hitting F4, and then the bottom co corner or bottom part of our range is going to be whatever row we're on. In this case, we're in row 2, so it's going to be that same cell and then as we drag this down we want this bottom one bottom uh, corner of our range to stay relative and move with our drag so there's no dollar signs in front of that one because it's a relative reference that's how a running count would work so our criteria is going to be anything less than 25 that the value in whatever row we're in less than 2500 units so that is our value of true. Our value of false, we want to return a value of zero because it's over 2,500 units and we don't need to restock the inventory. <clears throat> so now I drag this formula down and you can see we have a running count. You can see like if you hit F2 on that formula, our range here goes from our very first cell all the way down to the row we're in. So we have our lookup column that is dynamic 
it will change. If I change the value here, make this more than 2,500 units, our count changes. You see we had nine before, we have eight now. If I click undo, <coughs> we have nine again. So now we want to uh, create another dynamic list over here of, you know, that mirrors our um, count over here because that's going to be our lookup value over here. So we're going to insert another if function. This time we're going to use a row reference and we're going to reference the row we're in, H3. Now the row uh, function returns the row number of whatever uh, cell is referenced there. In this case we're in cell H3 so it's going to return a value of 3. Obviously we want to begin our count at 1 so we're going to subtract 2 from that. <clears throat> so if our current row minus 2 is less than what do we want it to be less than to? Well, it's less than or equal to the max number in our lookup column over here. So the max function will simply return the max number in your range you reference. So we referenced our lookup column over here. So if the current row 3 minus 2, which equals 1, is less than the max number in our lookup column over here, we wanted to do something. Well, we wanted to return that same row reference minus 2 because that will begin our count at 1. Otherwise, we don't want to put anything in this cell. We just want nothing. So we'll put a double quote if false. You can see I drag this down and now we have the same count we do over here. If I change a value over here to make this count over here less, it adjusts over here as well. So now uh, for the most part, um, most of these other items over here, with the exception of the, our reorder amount, quantity and cost, are going to be simple VLOOKUPs that are based on the value in this cell because we have our lookup column over here and our lookup value here. So we're going to do a VLOOKUP based on this value here. We're going to hit F4 three times for our lookup because we want to keep this cell, this column fixed but the row relative so when we drag these across all we have to do is change the column reference in our VLOOKUP. So this is our lookup value. Our table array over here is going to be this range here. We want to hit F4 to lock that down. The first item we're looking up is our inventory ID, which is column 2 over here. We'll put 0 because we want an exact match. and Hit Enter. And you can see it returns a value of 2004. That is the first item of our inventory that needs to be reordered. So I can drag this down. You can see it returns values um, for everything that's in our count. It returns errors because there's no lookup values and anything below it. So what you can do there to uh, avoid those NA error messages is we can put an if error statement in front of our VLOOKUP and the if error function you have a value input, which is our VLOOKUP formula, and then the value we want to return if the value returns an error. Well, in this case, we want nothing. So that will not change anything that returns a non-error value, but when we drag this down, you can see it eliminates anything where there was an error. So now I can drag this formula to the right, it will return uh, the same value because we need to change our column reference to the product column. So all we need to do here is change this to a value of 3 for our column that we want to return. So now 
we have our quantity. Our quantity is uh, not related to the quantity over here per se. We just want to uh, reorder a thousand units for anything that is in this list. So rather than a VLOOKUP, we're going to do a simple IF statement here. Um, if the value in H3 does not equal nothing, then we want a thousand units here. Otherwise, we want nothing. Our cost per unit, we are going to do a VLOOKUP here because we want to get it from this array over here. So we can copy this again and change our column reference to 4. And then finally, we have our cost. Well, we want to use an IF statement similar to this one because if there's a value over here, uh, we just want to multiply the quantity times the cost per unit to get a reorder amount. So we have if this does not equal nothing, then we want to multiply the quantity times the cost per unit. Otherwise, we want nothing. And so now we have our dynamic order list that will adjust with whatever happens over here if we input something different. If I change these values to 3000, this, this, will, this list will be reduced over here. If I copy this down, we should see this, this list over here go to 6, and it does. So you can see we have a dynamic list. If I change this back to 200, it goes up one. So completely dynamic based on the conditions in this column here. Thanks for watching, guys.